Good evening, and right before we dive into the main story, I'll quickly mention again that if you are sick and tired of all the censorship on this platform, as well as the myriad of other platforms out there, and if you're looking for a source of actual, honest, uncensored news, well, consider checking out the Epic Times, because they've recently extended their awesome sale on subscriptions, just 25 cents a week for the whole year, which, if you do the math, works itself out to just be a single dollar a month. And so indeed, if you're really looking for an honest source of news, news which oftentimes gets blacked out by the mainstream legacy news outlets, well, consider trying a subscription for yourself. I'll throw a link to the sale page. It'll be right there at the top of the description box below. I hope you check it out. And now, diving into the main topic. According to this new charging document, which came out of the New Jersey Attorney General's office, there has, allegedly, been some serious election fraud over in the city of Patterson. Specifically, among many other things, this document charges the current sitting president of the Patterson City Council with running a criminal conspiracy in order to get himself elected to office. In fact, the state attorney general, he said that Mr. Alex Mendez, his wife, as well as several other members of the campaign, they stole ballots from people's mailboxes, they filled them out, and then subsequently, they mailed in those fake ballots in order to win. Furthermore, Mr. Mendez, he's been charged with collecting large numbers of mail-in ballots, destroying the ballots that did not favor him, and replacing those ballots with ones that did favor him. And the details of this case are wild. So let's go through them all together right after you take a super quick moment to smash those like and subscribe buttons, which will quite literally force the YouTube algorithm to share this video as well as this information out to ever more people. Now, to start with, here's what the statement from the Attorney General's office said alongside the charging documents. Quote, The defendants are accused of attempting to rig an election in their favor and to deprive the voters of Patterson of having their voices heard. The Patterson City Council president, Alex Mendez, has been brought up on new charges in connection with an election fraud case after investigators determined the defendant personally collected ballots and oversaw the fraudulent mailing of ballots while members of his campaign stole ballots from residential mailboxes and discarded several that did not cast a vote for their candidate. It is also alleged that defendants tampered with witnesses to avoid prosecution. Now, before we dive into the actual details here, I'd like to just quickly mention that as of this very moment right now, Neither Mr. Mendez nor any of his alleged co-conspirators have been found guilty of anything. And of course, in America, everyone, no matter who they are, is innocent until proven guilty. All I'm showing you are the specifics from the attorney general's office, what they found during their investigation. And this is the exact evidence that will ultimately be shown in a court of law before a judge. You can make up your own mind as to what it all means. Regardless, with that out of the way, let's dive into the details. Patterson, New Jersey, located in the northern part of the state, is the third largest city by population within New Jersey. And in terms of their elections, well, Patterson is broken up into several different wards. You can see them up on screen for yourself. And three years ago, back in the year 2020, Mr. Alex Mendez was running for a seat in ward number three. However, unlike typical election tactics, such as knocking on doors, debating your opponents, and generally trying to win voters over to your cause, well, the attorney general alleges that Mr. Mendez, as well as his campaign, tried a, you can say, unique approach. Quote, prior to the May 2020 election, while he was a candidate seeking to represent the third ward, Mendez personally collected a number of mail-in ballots from households in that section of Patterson in violation of the vote-by-mail law. Mendez and his associates allegedly collected many ballots in the third ward over several days. Now, just to pause here for a super quick moment, and just for your general reference, in this particular election, all voting, 100% of the voting was done by mail because of the COVID pandemic. And under New Jersey state law, it is allowed for a voter to give their completed ballot to an official ballot bearer. This bearer must then fill out a certification statement on the ballot envelope before then taking that ballot and giving it to the county board of elections. But here's the thing, even though New Jersey does allow this form of ballot harvesting, it is never allowed for an actual candidate in an election to serve as a ballot bearer in the district for which he's running for office. And that rule is in place for very obvious reasons, reasons like this right here. Quote, it is alleged that many of the ballots that the campaign collected were not sealed by voters when they were turned over. It is further alleged that after the ballots were brought to Mendez's campaign headquarters, they were examined to see if the ballots were votes for Mendez. If the ballot did not select Mendez as the candidate of choice, his wife, Johanny Mendez, allegedly would destroy the ballot and replace it with another mail-in ballot that did select Mendez for the council seat. Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself, how in the world did they get all these blank ballots to make the replacement? And the answer to that is simple. Because the city of Patterson had the bright idea to mail every single person a mail-in ballot, 
Well, the campaign allegedly just drove around and stole those ballots from people's mailboxes. Quote, the investigation found that the blank ballots used as replacement ballots were obtained by stealing ballots out of voters' mailboxes. Mendez associate Omar Ladizma is accused of taking ballots out of mailboxes in specific neighborhoods and apartment buildings in Patterson that were known to have a large number of residents supporting Mendez's main opponent in the election, former Patterson councilman William McCoy. Which technically is a brilliant strategy because you get the blank mail-in ballots while the people who are likely to vote for your opponent get nothing. They get no ballots. Now, the way that this alleged scheme was discovered in the first place is actually quite fascinating. Because you see, back in 2020, there were hundreds of Patterson election ballots that were discovered stuffed in a mailbox in a neighboring town, the town of Halden. Now, this was obviously a red flag which only became redder when about a week after this discovery, the lawyer for Alex Mendes' campaign filed a letter with the County Board of Elections urging them, urging the board to go ahead and count the hailed in ballots. However, in the course of the investigation, what appears to have happened is that one of the alleged collaborators in this whole scheme, he flipped sides and he decided to cooperate with the attorney general. And according to the official complaint, that insider, he alleges that, quote, Alex Mendes was there as over 300 mail-in ballots were placed into the Halden postal box. Here is specifically how the New Jersey Attorney General described the situation. Quote, It is alleged that on or about May 5th of 2020, Mendez personally observed from his wife's vehicle as a large, heavy bag, completely filled with ballots, was emptied into the Halden postal box prior to the election. About one week later, Mendez's campaign attorney filed a letter with the Passaic County Board of Elections urging the board to count the Halden ballots even though Mendez knew they had been unlawfully collected and submitted to the county. State law indicates that a person serving as a ballot bearer can only do so for a maximum of three ballots each, or five if the individual is bearing ballots for immediate family members in the same household. All right, just to pause here for a super quick moment, I'd like to mention that as many of the institutions in this country are sadly eroding away, well, the time to become self-reliant and secure the food supply of your family is right now. And the best company to use is the sponsor of today's episode, My Patriot Supply, America's largest preparedness company. Their best-selling three-month emergency food kits, they provide delicious breakfasts, lunches, dinners, as well as snacks that last up to 25 years in storage and that will provide you with over 2,000 calories per day right when you need it the most. And they're super simple to make. Just add water, heat them up, and eat them. So check them out. You can buy a three-month emergency food kit for every member of your family so that when things hit the fan, well, you're all ready for whatever comes next. You can head on over to preparewithroman.com, and if you place your order by 3 p.m., your food kits will be shipped out to your doorstep on the very same day with free shipping. And so you can finally cross that item off your to-do list and stock up an emergency food today. That's again, preparewithroman.com. I'll also throw the link. It'll be down in the description box below. And it actually gets worse for Mr. Mendez. That's because after this whole scheme came to light, the attorney general wrote that Mr. Mendez, his wife, as well as several of the co-conspirators, they were, quote, captured in an audio recording agreeing to attempt to contact the witnesses against Alex Mendez and to propose a new statement that each witness could give that would be helpful to the defense, which would, of course, be a form of witness tampering. It's also worth mentioning that the insider who flipped, he also alleges that Mr. Mendez told him to delete any and all communications regarding what took place. And so that is the general situation playing itself out over in the city of Patterson. Now, the individuals indicted face a litany of charges, including Mr. Mendez, who faces nine charges in total, including things like conspiracy, voter fraud, forgery, witness tampering, and so on. His wife is facing four counts, including ballot fraud, witness tampering, and so on. And then you have two more people who are associated with the campaign who are both facing eight charges each, all related to the alleged voter fraud scheme. In total, when you add them all up, the alleged conspirators in this particular scheme are facing a total of 29 felony charges. And if he's found guilty on all counts, Mr. Mendez faces upwards of several dozen years behind bars in state prison. Now, for his part, Mr. Mendez's lawyer has declined to comment on these new charges. Although it is worth mentioning that previously, when these allegations first came to light, Mr. Mendez denied any and all wrongdoing. And in terms of the next steps, well, it appears that while the legal process is playing itself out in court, Mr. Mendez will actually stay on as city council president. Quote, Mendez and the others charged in this case won't appear in court on the new charges until early December, with any trial still likely many months away, and with Councilmember Mendez staying in office as an accused criminal. And so, there you have it. 
If you'd like to go deeper into this particular story, I'll throw all my research notes and they'll be down in the description box below this video for you to peruse at your own leisure. And then lastly, as I mentioned at the top of the episode as well, if you are indeed sick and tired of all the censorship on this platform, you're in luck. Because as I alluded to earlier, the Epic Times has recently extended its awesome sale and subscriptions, just 25 cents a week for the whole year, which if you do the math, works itself out to just be a single dollar a month. And so if you've been on the fence about subscribing to the Epic Times, you know you're tired of the censorship, you know you're looking for a source of honest news, but you're not sure whether you're ready to take the leap, well, perhaps take the sale as an opportunity to try the Epic Times for yourself. That way you can get access to a plethora of phenomenal content over on the website. And also, I should mention that I myself publish anywhere between one to three exclusive episodes of Facts Matter over on Epic TV, the no censorship video platform that's a part of the Epic Times. And so if you want some extra episodes of Facts Matter every single week, including a huge backlog from the last three years, well, you can find it all over on the website. I'll throw a link to the sale page. It'll be right there at the top of the description box below. You can just click on that link and it'll take you to the sale page where you can try the Epic Times for again, just a single dollar a month. You can of course cancel any time, but something tells me that you won't. Something tells me that you'll fall in love with it and be a subscriber for a long, long, long time to come. Again, that link is right there at the top of the description box below. I hope you click on it and I hope that you join us over on theepictimes.com. And then until next time, I'm your host, Roman from the Epic Times. Stay informed. Most importantly, stay free. Thank you.